morning. We finally made it to, to the morning. It seemed, like, it seemed like a long night. Um, fire kept going out every about hour, hour and a half. Yeah. First time it actually lasted about two hours. Or maybe we were just warm enough. Uh, but it didn't didn't really work as planned. Um, which kind of what you expect. Yeah. When, um, you, when you don't have dried hardwood. And you not, don't not full to size fire. either. Uh, right now, what I'm working on is making a spear for fish because I'm hungry. Um, we finished the knife last night. Oh, and we also found my my knife. Uh, but I'll, I'll get it closer to the camera. Go ahead. That's what we ended up doing. Um, we were I originally just tied some crap on there after what he had on the video. Uh, and it didn't really hold, so hopefully this one holds a little bit better. I'm sure it will. Uh, it's still temporary, but it definitely makes the knife more usable. And this is my spear. It's definitely not done yet, but uh, maybe maybe I'll be able to. It's like I'm in a 3D movie. Yeah, really adding the effect. Yeah, well, I hopefully we'll be able to get some fish. Um, we haven't seen any this morning, mm -mm. which is kind of, kind of odd. Uh, but we'll we haven't see really seen anything. I thought I saw a squirrel right before the video started. Like as I was peeing. I saw a mouse as I woke up. Oh yeah. One of the time. It was. It was oh, I, I saw a spider. Oh, I didn't see it. Um, <laughs> there was a spider on my face, and I thought there was a spider on my face in my dreams. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So I just like woke up and. <laughs> Compulsively smacked my face and it just smeared. It was, it was a good, good morning. Um, but that, that mouse really woke me up because they're a lot louder than you would think in the woods. <laughs> quiet as a mouse really isn't isn't a true no. statement. Um, it was quiet as a along, deer maybe. It was running along the shelter here and I don't know. I woke up pretty quick to that, but I saw it was a mouse and didn't but, think about it. Overall, not not too bad. Of the night, it wasn't as bad as our first night last time. No, I mean maybe it's because we know it's only going to be one night too. Uh, but I mean, I feel well rested. I'm I'm not tired, which that that's saying something. Um, it's just that we didn't go into like a deep sleep. It was just right. It was at least two hours at a time. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't punches. wasn't bad. It was just wasn't wasn't what we like. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get some more food for this morning, get a little more firewood and start, you know, maybe go for a little hunting trip or something. You know, if we can get the fire banked up long enough that we can actually leave. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, well, we can also let it go out. Well, even if we're gone for an hour, it's not going to be. Right, but what if we get lost and wander around oh, for we five hours? We don't get lost. <laughs> We'll keep you updated. There's one. Somewhere. So we went on our fishing expedition. Uh, they're they're quicker in the daytime. That's for sure. I think at night with the flashlights, we kind of it, it was uh, kind of like spotlighting the deer. You know, they just kind of like sat still. Deer in a headlights type of thing. Yeah, um, but it didn't work so great in the daytime. They were you opened up a rock, or flipped over a rock rather. Don't really open them very open often. Open uh, <laughs> But you flip one over and they're just gone. Upstream. Upstream, downstream, didn't matter. They were just gone. You couldn't even see them. We saw a couple of them, but I, it was like... It was a flash. Yeah. It was just, you saw like a dark flash and then they were gone. So we're going to try for squirrels. Um, we'll see how we do. Yep, hopefully the bow can handle that. Uh, we socked up the fire pretty good. 
and so now we're getting ready to go squirrel hunt. Maybe maybe a rabbit too if we can find we'll them. We'll see what we can find. Uh, so squirrel hunting, he has a bow. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do. No release. No release. Got the glove. so far, but uh, none of them were close enough to get a shot, or on the ground. We saw one on the ground. But it was like it was sprinting. 60 yards away and sprinting. Uh, so yeah, we haven't been able to get a shot yet. So yeah, we're going to go walk 100 yards and sit down and hopefully something comes to us. Because we're lazy. I see two deer. I saw five, but five. I saw five deer. Oh, I only saw two of them. Oh, well, you might have been pretty focused on that chipmunk. Well, I was. I was. I haven't really seen anything since the chipmunk or deer. Uh, I'm just kind of debating on what to do. We want to go sit somewhere, but I want food. I don't really care where it comes from at this point. Think about boiling up some nettles. We could find some crayfish, perhaps. We could do a crayfish and nettle stew. Mm, so we're back at the campsite now, as you can see, and we didn't. We, we were unsuccessful. We were unsus unsuccessful. unsuccessful. Yes. unsuccessful. unsuccessful. Oh, so uh, we were in the creek. In the creek getting nettles and crayfish. Uh, so that was that was fun. Um, wanted to make sure they're actually nettles, so I rubbed some on my wrists and got a nice little rash. So they are definitely nettles. Um, now all we have to do is boil this and cook our nettles and crayfish. Uh, make some sort of. St so we're gonna pop this in the fire and hope it boils. Get her to a roll and boil, and then we're gonna show you what we're eating. So yeah, we got, finally got this to a boil, uh, so we're going to remove from heat and let it sit for a little bit with our custom made things, tongs I suppose, don't really know, uh, hopefully I'm not going to tip it over. Mm. In the trial runs I didn't, but that doesn't mean too much. Oh man! Oh. Is it hot? Oh, it's very hot. That's good. <laughs> we didn't need that water anyway. That's all right. We weren't boiling it for the water. Boiling it for what's inside. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to dump it out. Uh, I'm going to try to be even, but uh, no promises. It's going to be kind of hard because it's still very warm. Uh, not much time has elapsed since the last time we you know, were filming. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, maybe we, maybe we should let this cool down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> looks to be a little bit warm, <laughs> and it looks like urine. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna wait a few more minutes. And we'll get back to you. Want to nose? Yeah, look 
feel that. There's nothing that came out. That's a very nice fork. Thanks, man. <laughs> so, we got a bit of a problem with the... the extraction? Uh, extraction of the goods. Oh, wait. Small enough to down in there? Well, I ain't gonna put it down there. Oh, yeah, there's a crayfish, boy. This is, our, this is our smallest one. Someone's gonna be mad about that. I'm, I'm kind of mad about that, really. But, uh. That's okay. Bigger than the one I caught. Yeah. Very true. So, yeah, let's, let's dig in. Yeah, so I made Jaron a fork. And, uh, I made him a spoon. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat with my fingers. Um, it's gonna take a while. Indefinite time scale. Not really good flavor. Tastes like crayfish at all? Yeah. Okay. Um, tastes like cooked spinach. Mm. And fire. It's not a good flavor, but I mean, at least it's food. Kind of tastes like, like lawn clippings. <laughs> it makes it really appetizing. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, the lawn clippings. Uh-uh. All right, let's go for a crayfish. You want the big one? Sure. I'll take the next biggest. I get to use my fork. <laughs> I spent all that time. So yeah, that was that was our first um, meal that wasn't trout. Hopefully, that's not the only meal of the day. Uh, nettles might be okay on their own as long as you don't boil them quite that long. I've heard that uh, the way I heard you're supposed to prepare them goes: you get a boil boiling pot of water and you just dip them in. And so you just whenever as soon as you dip them in, it's supposed to take away all the, the quill. There is nothing. No, there is no. There is no there. quill in your mouth. Um, so as soon as you dip them in the boiling water, you're supposed to just pull them out, and then it doesn't blanch because you know it's just that's all it was was blanched, mm -hmm. um, and that's not really like even like lettuce blanched tastes pretty much like that. Um, it's just not very good. Uh, the crayfish was all right, just too small. That's pretty much it, I suppose. We're gonna fix the fire and then go for a walk. Probably go the other way this time, though, than I think. Oh, there. Oh, there you go. Deal. Alright. Sounds good. Mm -hmm.